Freunde, willkommen zurück zu einer wundervollen neuen Episode von Dream Daddy. Meet Matt. Da sind wir beim letzten Mal stehen geblieben. Wir haben schon zwei Daddys kennengelernt. Wir hatten einen fetten Daughter Fight ähm, äh, im Pokémon-Stile. Und natürlich der Tipp Nummer 18. Always carry a pocket knife. Denn das ist wichtig. Wenn ihr ein Dad seid, müsst ihr immer ein Schweizer Taschenmesser dabei haben. Denn sonst seid ihr kein wahrer Dad. Alright, hier sind wir stehen geblieben bei diesem Kerl. I need a nap. Wir müssen schlafen. We just had coffee. Das ist ehrlich gesagt wahr, Amanda. Das ist... Das ist wahr. <lacht> Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now all about the train to sleepy time junction. Das könnte ich sein. Das könnte ich wirklich sein. Bin ich jetzt schon dad toll? Always help a friend in need. Das ist wirklich sehr wichtig, Freunde. Das ist nicht nur als dad wichtig. Das ist... Freunde, das ist sehr wichtig, Okay. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Yannick, bro! Dude! I turn around and I'm greeted by a family of face jogging up to us. Er hat ein Baby auf der Brust! Oh Gott, sieht das süß aus! Craig? Bro! Bro! Holy wow! I haven't seen Craig in forever! It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you, you look great! Bro. Der hat sogar einen Augenbrauen-Cut, Alter. Der ist, der ist, der ist... Woo! <lacht> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! Der, der... Ja, schon. <lacht> Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while too. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. Oh Gott, ich kann mir das schon so süß vorstellen. Hallo. <lacht> das mache ich, mach ich auch immer so, wenn ich Leute kennenlerne, nicht immer meinen eigenen Arm haben. Ich bin völlig normal, okay? River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to the side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Hat er sie so genannt, weil er damals was mit ihr hatte? Smashley! Ich meine, wegen... Ich komme nicht mehr aus dieser, aus dieser Bedrohung raus. Oh. She actually still goes to by Smashley. And uh, we got divorced last year. Unangenehmes Thema! <lacht> oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro, right? Kekstand Craig is a father. Of three? Kekstand Craig? Oh. Oh, yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Was ist ein keg stand? Ich kann ein handstand, aber kein keg stand. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I am in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. Ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass diesen, diesen Vater, den ich hier spiele, dass der mich so gut, äh, gut widerspiegelt. Das mache ich nämlich auch. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. That's me. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro, bro brunch. A bro brunch. Like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get, better get moving. Gotta see you guys. Good. To see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in and jogs off in the distance. Er, er joggt in den Sonnenuntergang. Bye, Craig. By River. Und das Einzige, was er noch macht, weit hinten. 
<lacht> Scheiße. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. It's schon ein bisschen eklig. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Ah. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. It, oh, oh. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Oh. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Yeah. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Bitte, lasst uns in diesem Spiel einen Hund besorgen. Ich will einen Corgi. Ich will, I'm, ich will einen Corgi. Wir haben heute auch schon wieder so einen süßen Hund gesehen, Freunde. Off topic. Egal. Yeah. Hunde sind so süß. A dog. Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Yeah. Medium sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it will cost for me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Ja, so kriegt man die alle auch um. Gib ihr einen Hund mit so einem Halstuch um. Sie darf ihn benennen und den Hund aussuchen. Sie bleibt für immer hier. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <lacht> Amanda laughs. Äh, vielleicht muss ich das nicht vorlesen, weil sie hat. Ist. <lacht> oh. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides to the, to the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yeah. This is from McGovern College of Art and Design. Open it! But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Huh. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but uh, okay. Mm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed our your application. Blah blah blah. Um, uh. we. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGovern College of Art and Design. No. Mm. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Uh. It's okay, I kinda saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions office told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other schools is gonna want to snatch you up for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just mm -hmm. saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Yeah. It's wahrscheinlich besser. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Dad. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place for yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Uh, 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 um, I'm going clubbing, gotta attend the union meeting. I'm secretly the major. <lacht> das wäre halt einfach eine Antwort, die ich sagen würde. Ich kann, ich kann nicht widerstehen. Ich bin in Wirklichkeit der Bürgermeister dieser Stadt. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my majoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my major stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a major, right? He was not. <laughs> right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch the game. <laughs> Wir sind nicht so sportlich. Wird nicht gut funktionieren. Go to bed. Könnte ich sein. Stay home and finish unpacking. Wir müssen erstmal ein bisschen aufräumen, damit jetzt gleich, wenn die Freundinnen kommen, dass nicht so kacke hier alles aussieht. 
I've still got a lot of work to do, but I'll stay out of your uh, out of your hair. You won't even know I'm here. I'm probably start going through boxes, find some old journals, and then get stuck reading through them for the rest of the night instead of unpacking. You know how it goes. Sounds like a blast. And hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, why, right, Mr. Vega? Alter, this is Vegas here. It's Vegeta V... V... <clears throat> Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Eat a lot of broccoli. Nein! Broccoli schmeckt richtig eklig. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello! Oh. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Hello? Hey! <laughs> oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes! Hi, I'm Yannick! That's what my name is! <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I would bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, But between you and me, she's just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Uh, we uh, both share a laugh. Kids, right? <laughs> kids, am I right, kid? Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Das ist kein Grinsen. Hier, hallo. Ah. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, cracker bells. <laughs> oh, oh, cracker bells. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Uh. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also, though. <laughs> Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there be have to be something wrong with you to try raise more than two. Wahrscheinlich tut er das, oder? Ich glaube, mein Spiel ist hängen geblieben. Nein! Ich rede gerade mit Joseph Spiel. Aber die Musik ist noch da. Finde ich sonst etwas. Guck mal, ich habe jetzt... Oh! I have four kids. Four! What have you done? Freunde, mit diesem wundervollen Satz möchte ich es gerne auch beenden. What have you done? Was hat Joseph getan, dass er vier Kinder hat? Freunde, wenn es euch gefallen hat, lasst gerne einen Daumen nach oben da. Schreibt einen Kommentar, dass ihr mehr sehen wollt. Und ein Abo, falls ihr den nächsten Part nicht verpassen wollt. Ich bin der Kopf fürs Brain oder einfach die Janik. Und bis dann, euer Brain. Tüdelü mit Ü. Gebrrr.